I graduated with a GPA that was um, st statistically significant. Uh, well, actually, it was, it was greater than 1.5, but not greater than 2.5. Um, <laughs> So for those of you students who are, are blade running with graduation, you too can get invited back to be you <laughs> after you graduate. And, and you might wind up being some of the more interesting alums that uh, Dean Luchin gets to talk to. Uh, so I went to graduate school. Um, Ken went over that, then I went through uh, RLTC training while I was uh, in, in graduate school and um, did a couple of postdocs and then uh, got offered a faculty position at Harvard, but I was also in the reserves and 9-11 had happened and I wanted to kind of get in the game, so I went and told the dean, hey, I'm going to go fight, can you hold my lab for a year? And um, they were very supportive at Harvard, which was surprising. Uh, <laughs> and. Uh, so anyway, I was over in Afghanistan early in the war for about a year, 2002, 2003, then came back and I got started at Harvard, working on a lab, developing tools for early stage drug discovery, uh, looking at heart disease and uh, regenerative medicine uh, for the heart. Uh, then uh, about, I tried to put the war behind me even though I was still in the reserves because I didn't want to be the, the veteran on campus. And um, then a friend of mine was wounded in Iraq uh, with a pretty bad brain injury and uh, it became clear that um, his care in the field was not as developed as it should have been. Uh, I was very angry about this, and uh, so I went back to my footlocker full of gear that I'd had in Afghanistan, and I pulled out the patrol book that I had carried in my pocket every day, because I'd had a list of everything that pissed me off in the war. <laughs> and I decided uh, that along with TBI, I would start a research project in my lab for everything that pissed me off in the war. So we did, um, so now my lab has expanded beyond heart disease and we're working on wound dressings, camouflage, which has actually uh, evolved into an interest in fashion design. Um, <laughs> brain injury, we established a counterinsurgency laboratory with the Mass State Police uh, applying counterinsurgency theory against gang, criminal gangs in, in Springfield, which was uh, got a little bit of press and now seems to be evolving towards a national program. So. I think my lab, I, was, I gave a talk last year at, a, at Google Zeitgeist, and afterwards uh, someone came up to me and said, you're a hacker. And uh, I often been called a hack, but not a hacker. <laughs> and, um, but I, I've kind of grown comfortable with that. We, uh, we have a bunch of different projects in the lab that range from clothing to camouflage to brain injury to wound dressings, and these were all things that I saw on the battlefield. And I, I think the conclusion I, I've kind of come to after thinking about that is that, you know, I, I interact with a lot of people that are asking, what are the important questions in science to address? What's important? And, and it dawned on me that I, I got another sense of fulfillment when I started working on these projects where I guess I kind of brought the war into my lab and, and into my team. And I should say that I have a bunch of veterans on my group that I recruit from Bunker Hill Community College, Northeastern University, graduate students at Harvard. And, and I decided that the important questions or are, are, are the important problems to work on are the problems that affect your, your, your family and friends. And so that's kind of the way we've expanded our research group and uh, certainly um, my training at, at, at BU, uh, my education at BU, whereas I wasn't so performing so well in the, um, in the classroom, um, I was performing quite well down in Alston. And um, <laughs> that's a joke. But I, I think that coming from the rural south, for me, one of the, the most important things I learned at, at BU was certainly audacity. And uh, whether it's in the laboratory or on the battlefield, that served me well. And the other thing I've learned that was sustained that I'd learned early on from my family and, and growing up playing sports is that good teams are a part of that. And I think for me, the diversity of the student body that I was exposed to when I got here taught me quite a bit about teaming, which has served me well both on a multinational battlefield and in a multinational lab. So I'll turn it back over to you, Ken. Thanks, Kit. Thank you very much.